In this Hogwarts Legacy Demiguise video, I'm going to show you how to collect a moon from a Demiguise. So you can see I'm here in Hogwarts Legacy in a random area in the Wizarding World. I'm just going to first open up my map. That's the first thing we're going to do. So here you can see I'm in an area well away from Hogwarts and I'm in specifically near the South Sea Bog and the Coastal Cavern there. I'm going to move slightly closer into the map and I'm going to move into this direction and I'm going to hover over a town. Towns or villages appear as this icon right here. When I'm hovering over the top of it, you will see that there is a key that appears. Now this key will give you what's in that area. You can see that I have collection of chests. There are three chests available. I've already done two of the chests. Then below this, you can see Demiguy statues. So this is a great way to find Demiguy statues. I've also been here before, so a flu fame is available for a quick travel. So I'm going to select this now, and I'm going to quick, well, let's do a little bit of flying first, but I'll also select it on the map so I know how far we are. So uh, in case you haven't seen how you can fly in Hogwarts Legacy, I'm going to show you how you can fly. Now I have upgraded my boom, so there's a little bit of speed that I do have on my travel here. But just to give you an idea of the travel in Hogwarts Legacy, I just thought I'd just get on my boom before I quick travel, because I am going to quick travel so we can get through it. So you can see that there's quite a bit of distance to cover there, so that is the reason why we're going to quick travel. So if I open my map, I've already marked the area, so I'm just going to slightly move to the area now. You can see that it's over here. I've marked it so I know where I'm going. I'm going to remove the marker and I'm going to press X to quick travel to that flu flame that I've already collected. In order to activate a flu flame, you need to go to that flu flame and it will ignite. That is how you get a flu flame to work. There was no button for you to press. Seems a pleasant enough little place. You can see I'm now in the area right in front of the flu flame that sometimes does have a conversation with you. Right, so now we need to find the demiguise. One thing that you can do is when you're in the village, you can use your Revelio by pressing left on the D-pad. I'm going to do that Revelio. now. Revelio. Revelio will show you a few items that are currently available. So when looking for our demiguise, we can actually tick off, if you will, the items that we've just highlighted. Let's do a Revelio again. You can see that this building... What do we have here? A demiguise. There we go. Sometimes you will get a voice... A line from your character telling you that you have just found a demiguise. So we're in the location of a demiguise right now. I'm just trying to find out where it is because he has spoken about it. Right by the door there, you can see that there is a demiguise. But we won't be able to collect the moon from the demiguise just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first collect all of the loot in this building. So that's what I'm going to do. We're not going to leave the building. We're just going to quickly collect all of the loot. Now I have upgraded my... <laughs> this is something to press. Uh, now I have upgraded my um, the place where the place where you can collect your loot. So there's more loot that I can collect. So I will show you what to do if you run out of room for any loot as well. So that's something I will show you. So now that we're in the front in front of the demi guys, I'm going to press the menu. I'm going to open up the map. Once you've progressed in the game, you will be able to change the time of day. So now that we're in the right location, I'm just going to press right on the D-pad. I'm going to press the right stick in on the D-pad. If you can see that there, this is the one that I'm going to press in. I'm going to press it in three, two, one, and you will see that there's a notification that appears on screen. Wait here to advance time from day to night or night to day. Now, if I press yes, because it's daytime, it will switch the time of day to nighttime. We're going to do that now because Demiguise moons can only be collected right now, at night. So I'm right in front of the demiguise right now and you can see it's glowing. I will now be able to collect the moon from this demiguise. If I walk forward, I can now press X. Oh, and someone's home. <laughs> but I'm just taking the demiguise. So that demiguise moon is now mine. I have now collected that demiguise. And of course, when you collect enough demiguise, you can go back to the caretaker of Hogwarts and you can unlock levels to your Aloha Mora. So in order to start collecting these demiguises you need to also have spoken to the caretaker in Hogwarts Legacy. Hopefully that's helped you. I'm also going to show you how you can also make some room in your loot as well in case you haven't been doing the Merlin trials. So by pressing the start menu I can now go into my gear and of course once you've started progressing in the game you can make more room for your loot but there are other ways you can get rid of loot. You can press for example the left stick in. Now I'm not going to destroy anything there. I'm going to pick something that I uh actually want to destroy here as well. So we have two of the same 
one is better than the other. Right, so you can see that this snowy owl scarf I won't need because I already have one that's better but with a different trait. So the trait on this snowy owl scarf is binding one which actually helps you with Petrificus Totalus, which freezes an enemy when you're using stealth on an enemy and close enough you can press X, which instantly freezes the enemy and they won't be able to move. That's what that spell does. Now, it increases the damage that is inflicted on the enemy when you're doing that skill there. And that's what Binding One Trait does. And that's why that Snowy Scarf is slightly different to the other Snowy Scarf right here, which is Deafening. Now, Deafening increases the damage with a Mandrake. A Mandrake is a plant that you can use in battle, and it's an item that you can use in battle that doesn't affect your loadout with your spells. Now, I'm going to destroy the Snowy Owl Scarf here, or I can sell it at a shop. Any shop that you go to, you can also sell something. So I'm going to get rid of this now. I've just held the left stick in, and that has destroyed that item. If you go to a store, you can also sell your items, and that is how you can make more room for your gear as well. I just thought I'd add that extra piece of information. If you've enjoyed this and you found it helpful, do give me a thumbs up. I just thought I'd give you some help in Hogwarts Legacy. I'm extremely enjoy I'm enjoying this game so much. So I've got a lot that I can teach you. As you can see here, I have some gear that you might not have as well. There's a lot more where that came from, trust me. Thank you for watching. See you in another one right here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. That's how you do those demi guises. Peace, man. And remember, you are awesome. <laughs>